everybody, it's me, Steve Schneek, the CD Junkie. On this episode of CD Junkie, I'm going to talk about my life story. Now, I'm not going to talk about my life story. I'm going to talk about the group My Life Story, fronted by singer-songwriter Jake Schillingford. What a wonderful, big, bold, fabulous band this is. This, uh, For the first part of their career, they were actually... Uh, chamber rock, sh chamber pop. It was like take a Brit pop band, you know, a, a, a four piece band, you know, guitar, bass, drums, vocals, or maybe add a keyboardist to it or whatever, and then add a string section behind them. My Life Story was a 12 piece band most of the time. And, uh, you know, it's like hearing these great, wonderful, unreleased James Bond themes. Uh, in fact, when, um, I forgot what year it was, I think it was after the second My Life Story album, um, when they were trying to figure out who was going to do the next James Bond theme, um, and it, it was whatever movie it was that Garbage got, um, I knew somebody that was a secretary for the person that, uh, uh, who was in charge of trying to track down, you know, decide what group was going to um, do the theme. And I actually gave them a CDR with My Life Story songs. I said, give this band a listen because it's perfect for Bond, but probably more perfect for a 60s Bond than it was anything else. But let me tell you, before I get more into the band, how I got into them real fast, I was really into a band called Jefferson Airhead. Uh, uh, which is a British band. They had to change their name after a couple singles to just Airhead, and they put out an album, and it was a, a hit, and they had a couple hit singles, Funny How, Counting Sheep, uh, and then they left Corova Records. They signed with a label called Mother Tongue. Uh, I contacted Mother Tongue, tried to get more information about them. Mother Tongue said, oh, well, if you like them, check out this new band that we have signed. It is called My Life Story. So they sent me the debut My Life Story EP, plus a cassette with some unreleased demos on it, songs that they were working on for their album. I believe that one of those songs has never been released, uh, but I'll have to go back and try to find the cassette somehow. But that first EP was amazing. It was produced by Giles Martin. Obviously, we know Giles Martin as being George Martin's son and the guy who eventually would remix all the Beatles. But in my household, he is known as the producer of the first My Life Story EP. And it's lush. It's, it's, it's just big, bold, and, and, and strings swooping and swirling, these great melodies. Uh, and I was blown away. And as much as I loved Airhead, all of a sudden my attention was on My Life Story. So they put out a couple more singles, then they put out an album in 95 called uh, Mornington Crescent, and they started getting a lot of good press. I loved it. There was this great song on the album called You Don't Sparkle, which in my opinion beats any other Britpop. To me, that is the theme of Britpop, that whole thing. It's so wonderful, big, glorious, and just so heartfelt. Jake Schillingford is one of these singer-songwriters that knows pop in and out. He knows what tickles your fancy. He doesn't know you, but he knows what tickles your fancy, and you're going to find it in a My Life Story song, whether it's a, you know, a, a, just a little piano lick or the, this harmonies or these beautiful melodies or, or, or uh, maybe him having fun, maybe him uh, um, uh, being playful. You know, you're going to find all this on a My Life Story record, sometimes all in the same song. Mornington Crescent, first album came out, like I said, 95. Uh, it was picked up by Parlophone, who uh, reissued it and added some bonus tracks. They also put out the group's second album called The Golden Mile, and that had four or five top 40 hits on it, including a re-recording of You Don't Sparkle called Sparkle. And again, even the re-recording was glorious and wonderful, and it, it, it's still the center point of Britpop for me. Uh, but so are a lot of their other songs, just, you know, the, the strings. But see, the thing is, is that Jake Schillingford knew how to write a song. He could write a song that would sound beautiful and bold with all the strings behind it, but strip away all that kind of stuff, and it's still a great song. Uh, from the heart to the soul, everything about My Life Story was fantastic. Unfortunately, they left Parlophone, but they signed with... It Records. Now, what they did is instead of being a 12-piece band uh, on It Records, they were sort of pared down to a quartet, 
you know, guitar, bass, drums, keyboards, whatever. Then they they were still using the string sections, but they were no longer listed as official members. They were using them as studio musicians. And that album was fantastic. More electronics on that album. Uh, it was called Joined Up Talking. And then the band broke up, unfortunately. Jake Schillingford went on to form a band called Exile Inside, put out two albums, very electronica. But it's still great pop songs. It's still very Jake Schillingford. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's no longer, you know, lush with the strings and stuff. But the songs are still very imaginative. It's still very heartfelt. And I'd say quirky and a little bit avant-garde, too. Uh, but then he, I guess he got the rights back to the My Life Story stuff. So he put out a compilation or a couple compilations. And then he put out a solo album. Uh, and uh, which was essentially sort of piano or acoustic guitar versions of My Life Story and XL Inside songs plus two previously unreleased songs. Then he put My Life Story back together and they are, uh, you know, back to the quartet stuff, but the songs are still lush, still wonderful, still beautiful, still glorious. I haven't shown you any of the albums, have I? So now what I'm going to do, now that I've given you sort of a, a, a long-winded brief history of my life story you know pardon me i'm just like running through this because i've got more to tell you about i'm going to tell you about each of the albums right now and then i'm going to play a medley too featuring songs so you get to listen to them so um right now i'm going to show you the albums talk about the albums and i will see you in just a few minutes Mornington Crescent was My Life Story's debut album. Originally came out in 1995. This is the reissue. Most of the album was produced by Pat Collier with uh, three songs, I believe, produced by Giles Martin. Uh, and uh, they follow that up with their second album, 1997, an album called The Golden Mile. This actually was a hit album. Uh, four or five singles, I think they all entered uh, the lower regions of the top 40, but they were hits. Uh, but then they left EMI and signed with It Records, and uh, Joined Up Talking came out in the year 2000. Uh, wasn't as lush uh, as uh, the first two albums, but the songs were still amazing and incredible. But the band broke up after this. Uh, they had pursued an electronic sound on this album. So uh, uh, Jake Schillingford, his next group, uh, was Exile Inside. And this is very uh, electronica. Uh, almost, you know, just great pop melodies and stuff like that, but almost um, a little avant-garde as well. Uh, and then XL Inside had a, uh, a second album, came out in 2005. And again, uh, great electronic pop uh, with a sort of a quirky edge to it. Uh, really fantastic. But then in the year uh, 2006, they came out with the best of My Life Story that featured two quote-unquote new songs. And it's a great overview of the band's career. Lots of great songs on there, uh, uh, you know, mostly singles. Uh, but at the same time, they put out Megaphone Theology, B-Sides and Rarities, which is two CDs full of all their B-Sides, Rarities, demos, etc. cetera. Uh, this is, I mean, pretty much like getting three uh, extra My Life Story albums on uh, w one package. Jake Schillingford uh, put out a solo album in 2008. It's essentially sort of acoustic, uh, piano and acoustic guitar um, uh, re-recordings of uh, some tr tracks from My Life Story and Exile Inside, plus two quote-unquote new songs. Uh, you know, I keep saying quote-unquote because I don't know if they're actually literally new or whatever. But, uh, but then he put My Life Story back together again, and uh, World Citizen came out in the year 2019. And this is back down to quartet. It's rocking. It's still very grandiose and very uh, melodramatic and wonderful, full of great, wonderful songs. Then they put out the singles, which is... Uh, essentially uh, had uh, one new song and then uh, there's a song here that I don't think made the albums but it's in reverse order so it starts with the newest and goes back uh, to the debut and then in 2024 Loving You Is Killing Me is their brand new album and it is an incredible collection of great great songs uh, and that is my My Life Story collection well, now that you know a little bit about the band and, and you've seen the albums and you know a little bit about Jake Schillingford, now I'm going to play some music for you. I've put together a medley. features a couple songs from each of the My Life Story albums, and I think I just put one song from each of the Exile Inside and the Jake Schillingford, just because this video is mostly about My Life Story, but I don't want to leave out his other music because it's absolutely wonderful and it's highly recommended. So why don't you sit back, relax, give this a listen, and I will see you on the other side.
Well, that's it. I hope that this inspires you to check out the music of My Life Story. I'm really sorry that, you know, my talking, you know, is like a bobsled, you know, down the Matterhorn at Disneyland. Uh, but, you know, I just wanted to get out as much as possible and, and hopefully inspire you to check this band out. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to ring that bell for future notifications. And until the next time, remember me, I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.